What is his still in the back? That's it. Mine's in the back. Love you. Bye, Hunter. Peace out, Hunter. Peace out, man. See you in two weeks. I'm pulling one. Oh, actually, if, actually tomorrow. I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Love you. Bye. Well, y'all, they're gone. Two weeks to myself. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name's Kyle, AKA Prince Kyle, don't forget it. And I have an Instagram as well as a TikTok where I share my female to male transition as well as, as well as give tips to anybody that would like to hear about it. Today, I wanted to talk about five common mistakes that people make when binding their chest. Before we hop into it, you guys are probably wondering what the beginning clip was about. And that was me dropping my girlfriend and our son off to the airport. They have left me for two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. Now I know you guys are probably wondering why they went, why I didn't go, where they went. So they went back to Arkansas where she's originally from. She has a friend who's actually getting married. So she is in the wedding and so is Hunter. He is the ring bearer and she is the maid of honor. So she went back home to go to that. And the reason I didn't go is because at the time I couldn't request the time off from work to go. And of course now I'm not even working there. So I could have went, but at this point it was too late. And I just decided to kick it back at home and throw a banger. I'm just kidding now. I'm just sitting here by myself um, wondering when I'm going to have my next meal because I can't cook. And yeah it is officially day three and it is pretty lonely but we're gonna make it work we're gonna make it work she'll be home on the 8th and all will be good so now to hop into what the video is actually about so first let's just talk about what binding is binding is something that a lot of people within the lgbtq community partake in doing and uh mostly transgender men and non-binary folks um, it is when you pretty much wrap your chest around with the use of something to make your chest flat and to appear as your typical cisgender male's chest would look. It was, it was something that I did before I had top surgery. Obviously, I don't have to anymore because I had top surgery. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it and act like I was perfect when it came to binding. I wasn't. And that's kind of why I want to make this video on top of other people requesting it. So, number one on our list... Also, this is not to like shit on anyone, but it is the reality of it. There are a lot of silly mistakes that happen when binding, and they are mistakes that can actually be very damaging to the body. Please take this serious, even though it is going to come off very like silly and common sense. But yeah, please take it serious because it is number one. Do not bind with plastic wrap. I know some of you guys are probably like, wait, people really do that? Yes. Do not bind with plastic wrap. Plastic wrap over time can get tighter and tighter, so that is just not safe and it can irritate the skin. So do not bind with plastic wrap. To give you a little example, this is what it looks like and people will literally pretend this is your chest. Obviously I'm not gonna do my chest. We'll wrap it around and they'll do it so much so that it gets super tight. Look, look how tight this gets. Now imagine wearing this all day long and doing a lot of moving and sweating and just imagine how tight this can actually get. And it can get really dangerous. So do not bind with plastic wrap, please. Number two, do not use duct tape to bind. Duct tape has a very specific type of adhesive that is meant for hard surfaces and for like, honestly, like construction and things along those lines. It's for heavy duty things. Your skin is not super heavy duty. As much as you would like to think it is, it's not heavy duty. Your skin can be very sensitive and for others, even more sensitive than the average person. And when you put duct tape on your skin, it can really, really irritate it. And also when you go to rip it off, you think a bandaid hurts after a few days? Imagine duct tape. 
around your chest where the skin is very sensitive. Number three, do not work out in your binder or any type of restricting wear. Now I know this is a lot easier said than done because a lot of people want to feel euphoric in the gym and confident and masculine in the, in the gym. So people are more than likely to bind in the gym. But the reason you should not is because it is very unsafe in the fact that your chest is expanding and contracting when you're working out because your breathing is a lot quicker and your blood is flowing a lot faster. Therefore, your body is expanding. So when you have something that is restricting your natural body from expanding, that is very, very dangerous. And you can overheat for one in the gym because you don't realize how restricted you are. And then two, you could have shortness of breath and you could damage your rib cage because you are pushing against something that is trying to expand when you breathe. So please, when you go to the gym, do not bind. There are other ways to help alleviate your dysphoria. Wear an oversized t-shirt, do something, but do not restrict your body while working out. It is not safe. Number four, do not layer your binder with another binder and do not get a binder that is like three times too small. Now, the reason you don't want to do this is because binders are already made to be very, very tight because the purpose is to flatten your chest. But that does not mean you wear two binders on top of each other that are already very, very small because yeah, it may feel great in the beginning, but over time, your body's going to feel it. You are affecting your back and you are again affecting your rib cage and you can potentially fracture your rib cage, believe it or not. And you do not want to do that. That is a very unsafe and it's not going to be worth it in the long run. Think about it long term. You might feel confident in the few days that you're binding with two binders, but then four years down the line, think of how your body's going to feel just because you wanted to alleviate temporary distress on your body or temporary dysphoria on your body. Think of the long-term effect of what it'll do. And then number five, the most important one and probably the hardest pill to swallow, do not overwear your binder. Take it off certain days, take it off certain hours in the day. Let your natural body breathe. And again, I know it's easier said than done because we do not wanna feel our breasts being there, obviously. But unfortunately, if they are there, they are there and you need to take care of your body properly. Do not wear it in the shower. One, you need to shower your whole body, and if you have a binder on, you're not showering your chest, which is kind of gross. And then two, you just don't want to be restricted all hours of the day. If you're at home, take it off. Who's gonna see you? Who cares? Your parents already know what you got. Your siblings already know what you got, so what are you hiding it from? Like, just let your body breathe at home, and then when you go out and about in places where you wanna feel your most euphoric, then put it on then feel confident in it. But when you're at home or in private places, there's no reason you need to be wearing it. Going to sleep with it on, sorry, my camera died, but do not sleep with your binder on. There is no reason you need to do that. You don't even realize that you would have it on. So who cares if you're not actually binding during your sleep? Nobody is going to see you. So please be cautious and careful when binding. Only wear it certain times of the day. If you need to, write on a calendar or mark in your phone or set an alarm when you should take your binder off just so you have consistent times throughout your days and your weeks and your months and your years where you're not binding. Because all in all, binding is obviously not something you should be doing because your natural body is, it's your natural body and it's supposed to function the way it does. There shouldn't be anything restricting it to begin with, but obviously it is nice to do it. And I think personally in my eyes, if you are going to bind, stay away from binders too and maybe get the athletic tape that is actually supposed to go on your skin or they actually do make transgender tape that you can probably find on all different types of trans sites. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but you can use tape that is actually meant to be on your body, like medicine tapes, and just tape your actual chest. The thing with binders is that some of them, they come down on your rib cage, and there's no reason your ribs should be binded. Like, I know it's because at the end of the day, some people have larger chests than others, so you do need it to be that low, but at the end of the day, there's no reason your chest, your rib cage should be restricted because you need to be able to breathe properly. And 
unfortunately binders have that effect to where it affects more than just your chest it, it affects your ribs so if you can i personally would advise looking for medicine tape and transgender tapes because that is probably the safest route but again that's my opinion i hope you guys took away something from this video again i'm not trying to be like an asshole when i say these things it's just super important and some of these things are things i wish i knew when i was younger and before i had top surgery and i know a lot of your guys' goal is to have top surgery what better way than to have a healthy surgery and a surgery that is very successful than by taking care of yourself before you even have the opportunity to have surgery. If you are not taking care of yourself before surgery, then what, what does it even matter? It's not gonna matter at all. So take care of yourself, guys. Do it now. I know it sucks, but it is going to be better in the long run. Do what you need to do. Be mature, be smart, and take care of your body. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I will have many more in the future if you guys do like these types of videos. Also, I'm at 40K. I've been kind of stagnant at 40K followers. I think it's because my videos aren't doing as good as I would like them to do. So if you guys could do me a favor and like, like, like this video, comment anything you want, subscribe if you haven't already. It helps the channel tremendously. It pushes the algorithm and then I can make so much more content this way because then I know that a lot of people are interested in hearing about it. So again, please smash that like button comment comment safe binding if you made it all the way to the end safe binding if you made it all the way to the end and i'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, and stay true be you peace